Welcome. On behalf of Shooter Detection System, we'd like to walk you through the Guardian Indoor Active Shooter Detection System. We're going to talk about the sensor, system networking, software and alerting, integration, followed by a live demo. The Guardian sensor is a dual mode sensor, leveraging acoustic signature of a weapon, an infrared signature of a weapon, and alerting sub one second. There's no triangulation required. Uh, there's no human in the loop. So all data is processed at the sensor. Uh, there's no calibration required. When the sensor is installed and plugged in, it works. It detects down to the lowest caliber, 22. A higher caliber, greater distance of coverage. It's offered in a wireless and power e over ethernet sensor. The networking of the system can be single site, multi-site, uh, standard PoE, network back to a gateway application or software, Additionally, we have a wireless option with wireless sensors using a long range access port back to the gateway. And then a hybrid system where we're working our POE and wireless system back to our gateway. From the gateway, the output, it's how we communicate. Communicate information on a client situation awareness map, populate maps in multiple locations. Notifications via SMS texting and email. On-site security systems, digital radio, security panels, blue lights, PA systems. Internet protocol integrations, video, ma video management systems, access control, mass notification, monitor alarm systems, on-site auto dials, police call boxes, computer-aided dispatch, notifying notifications right to the police, and then other public safety interoperability systems. The situational awareness map provides detailed information of the event. So a map that has icons below that can show movement of the individual, health and status of the system, can be done multi-site, multi-campus, and global locations. You can manage the view from one sensor or a thousand sensors, one building or many, many buildings. You have the flexibility with an auto call-up, so you don't have to search through your portfolio of the location. It's automatically pulled to the forefront. When we talk about the capability from detecting gunshots, it's greatly enhanced with integrations. So we integrate with video management, access control, mass notification, to enhance that capability from the initial start of a gunshot. Now you get detailed information that aids uh, active shooter response or awareness for occupants on whether to run, hide, or fight. We're transitioning now to a live fire demonstration. Today in the live fire demonstration, we're gonna run three scenarios. One will be out of the box, where we'll leverage the sensor's capability uh, in alerting from out of the box solution. Then we'll follow up with the video management integration showing the capability, how it's you know, equally enhanced based off of uh, an event. And then lastly, we'll show an integration with the security panel to show the simplicity uh, of being able to provide capability in a timely manner. What we see in front of us today is out of the box. This is our mapping software. On the bottom, there's a legend that shows shot history, it leaves a breadcrumb trail, stoplight system, from green dot, red halo, all the way down to yellow dot, will leave uh, a shot trail from each individual shot. Off to the right, sensor status. The sensor status is going to tell us that operational, that the sensor has been selected, warning offline or it's been disabled. Uh, what we're looking for here from the gunshot, the uh, alert on the map, and then we'll see notifications that'll populate on a phone. Shot detected. We get notification of a shot. We see shot detected, the active shooter log, populates on the right-hand side, giving us detailed information. We're getting now follow-on alerts to our mass notification platform that's now telling us the information related to the gunshot. We see that green dot red halo of the location of the shooter on the second floor. Shot detected. We now have that second shot populated. Automatically acknowledged in the activity log, and then notifications start to populate. You can now see the beginning of the breadcrumb trail that's now highlighting from first shot, the most recent shot, uh, in the shooter's actual potential direction of travel. Shot detected. And now a third shot. Same notifications, activity log, mass notification, now with this detailed information, occupants to, can decide based off, lo, based off proximity to the threat, whether to run, hide, or fight. And first responders have a start point. So as they approach the building, 
they're notified of the last known shot where they can potentially move to isolate and contain faster. Now we're gonna to transition to our second scenario, which is leveraging a video management platform where our system is integrated. Uh, today, we're gonna to use a Genetech platform and video management platform. As you can see in the camera, uh, we have our shooter today uh, in a live camera view. Uh, same principle, we're going to uh, look for an alert and then see the enhancement of a detection of a gunshot with the video management platform. Shot detected. First shot, auto populates or pulls the camera to the forefront, a notification on the map, and we see more detailed information that we typically don't see without an integration. We get a description of the shooter, uh, potential line of travel, uh, location, and we're getting those alerts that are added, actually building on the information. Shot Second shot. Now we're seeing movement of the individual. We're confirming it with the camera. We're now pulled to the map, enhanced capability where we can hold the cursor over and see the activity of that sensor with that camera located. Once again, looking at a video management platform that's enhancing the information outside of just the gunshot. Shot detected. And a third shot. Populating on the map, camera call up. We now have the location of the individual in a room. And once again, run, hide, or fight. When do I run? When do I hide? When do I fight? I now can provide critical information to my occupants and first responders in an effort to mitigate the risk. We'll now transition over to our final scenario. We will run an integration with a security panel, an alarm panel. Uh, what we see here is there's an enunciator, a blue light, and an alarm panel, a standard security panel. And we're gonna leverage the capability of the system from first gunshot and then notifications that will be output to occupants in a facility. So what we see is we see from three different scenarios, three different stages of capability, the reliability of an initial gunshot, the information that's provided, detailed information when integrated with the video management platform, and then additionally what we see when we have, uh, we have information that's provided based off capability. And so by enhancing that information, you now can address the issues of an active shooter and not be blind to it. So I wanna thank you today for attending uh, Shooter Detection Systems uh, demonstration of the Guardian Indoor Active Shooter System. Uh, it's very important for life safety that not only is it just a capability, but rely on certifications and testing that makes this product valid and proven in the market pace. From fully certified DHS Safety Act to Center for Protection of National Infrastructure Certified and SC, SCEC uh, certifications in Australia. Uh, those high levels of certification uh, ensure that you have a capable, reliable uh, system when addressing the active shooter threat. If you have additional questions, please reach out 1-844-SHOT-911 or email sales at shooterdetectionsystems.com. Thank you.